back at CPAC. Yes, sir. So how's your, is this your second CPAC? Second CPAC, okay. CPAC 2. How's it going? It's good. I mean, I've been doing a lot of radio, a lot of uh, interviews with television and, you know, things here and there. I did, uh, actually, uh, I, I'll be speaking tomorrow, introducing Dr. Bill Bennett at 9.15 tomorrow morning. And I'll be doing a second book signing tomorrow with, uh, with Dr. Bennett afterwards. So. Yeah. So talk about your book. You have a new book. Sure. Out. This is my new book, Defining Conservatism. just came out less than a, about, about a week ago. And um, it's, we're hoping to make it a bestseller this week or next week. And it's, uh, it's selling pretty well, actually. It sold about uh, 4,000, 5,000 copies this past week. So very exciting. What's in it? Well, uh, the book is really discussing what are the principles that unite not just libertarians or neoconservatives or Strassians or paleoconservatives or, uh, or social conservatives or fiscal conservatives, but what unites all conservatives. And I really find that to be respect for the American Constitution, limited government, personal responsibility and individualism, and a respect for human life as a right of the individual. And that's not talking about the abortion issue, because I only mentioned that twice in the book, and that's not the most important issue of conservatism. No, when I mean right, a respect for human life, that's respecting the right of every individual, no matter um, who they are, that they have a right to life. That, that life is a right of the individual endowed by their creator, as it says in the Declaration of Independence and in the Constitution. So since we were here last year, the whole Tea Party movement has happened. How do yeah. you, what do you think of that? How does that fit in, in well, the whole conservatism? I think, that, I think that that's a good question. The Tea Party movement is the epitome of what conservatism is today. It's promoting conservative values to be a check and balance for the Republican Party especially, and also for other members of Congress. We saw it with uh, Scott Brown getting elected in Massachusetts. The people didn't want health care, so when Scott Brown, so when it came up for time for election, they elected somebody that would stop it, Scott Brown. And I think that uh, that's kind of where the Tea Party is right now. It's, and, and I think with the contract from America, which I'm a part of, I'm working with that group, uh, with Tea Party Patriots, which is putting together contracts from America. Um, I think that that too will be a good thing to unify all conservatives, whether they be social conservatives, fiscal conservatives, de uh, defense conservatives, whatever they are, to unite them all around one issue and, or a group of issues to campaign for, just like the contract with America, United Republicans and Conservatives. So right now you're promoting this book. What, what comes next for you? What's on the horizon? Of course, I got another book I'm working on to come out next year. I've got a, 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 it's a it'll be a more wonkish book about one specific issue, policy-wise. Um, I've got more uh, columns, essays, things coming out um, in the future. So I'll be doing a lot of different stuff. So if folks want to find out, want to find you on the internet, want to find you somewhere, sure. how can they connect? You can go to my website, jonathancrone.org, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, K-R-O-H-N dot O-R-G. Or you can go to my book website, definingconservatismbook.com. Or you can go, if you want to order the book, you can go to amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, orders.com, booksamillion.com, or order it at your, or buy it at your local bookstore. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it's good. Good job.